woman to this man today. I do. Please be seated. Friends and family, we are gathered here today to share in the joy of their wedding. This celebration that we are about to see and hear, I believe, is an expression of the inner love that these two have in their hearts for one another. And we gather here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments the joining of two hearts. For in this ceremony for them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met, they fell in love, and they are finalizing this today with this marriage ceremony. We know that romance is fun, but true love is something much, much more. And that's what this couple has decided to do to live their lives together as one. You have come here today so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of God in this community. We ask that Christ abundantly bless your love and strengthen you so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of this community, I'm going to ask you to affirm that it is indeed your intention to be married today. So Josh, do you take Christina to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only on to her forevermore? I do. And Christina, I ask you, do you take Josh to be your husband? I do. <laughs> there is more. <laughs> do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others? I do. Well, I'm going to ask you now to express your vows of devotion each to the other. So I'm going to ask you to pass your flowers to your mother. Can you hold hands for that first okay. And you two hold hands. Perfect. No. <laughs> Josh, I want to remind you that marriage is a precious and lifelong commitment. And therefore, with this understanding, I want you to repeat after me. I, Josh, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I, Josh, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you all the days of my life. And honor you all the days of my life. Christina, I remind you that marriage is a precious and lifelong commitment. And therefore, with this understanding, please repeat after me. I, Christina, take you, Josh, to be my husband. I, Christina, take you, Josh, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in sickness and in health. And in sickness, pandemics, and in health. <laughs> <laughs> I will love you. I would love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. There's really no magic words that are echoed in a ceremony, but the couple has decided to do their personal vows. And this is an expression of the words that they hold in their heart, which they want to share with us. And in a way, that's the magic. So Josh, I'm going to ask you to start. Do you have a personal statement you'd like to do? I do. Mm -hmm. You want to go first? Yeah. I'll go first. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Christina. You are my best friend. I love that your level of quirkiness matches mine and sometimes exceeds it. It allows me to show off my true self, a side that very few people have actually seen. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love that whenever, whenever we do something together, it's way better uh, than doing it individually. It's better doing it together. Whether that's looking for that next hike, that cheap deal on Priceline, or that next exotic food to try, Except I'll lose. I will not try to lose <laughs> any words. It. <laughs> it's always a journey I want to experience with you. I also love that you never settle for the status quo and that you have a competitive fire within you. Your determination and work ethic are unparalleled. 
I promise to hold on to you and give you the most I can. I promise to rub your back more. A statistic that has been grossly lopsided for years, but much appreciated. I promise that we will never have to do a major house renovation again, unless you decide to. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, we're paying somebody to do it. Yes. <laughs> I promise to support your love language more. Oh, good. And use words to show my affection more often. I also promise to you to be more patient, because I know I can be easily rushed. <laughs> These are just a few of the many promises I want to make to you. I know our future is bright and limitless, and it makes me smile to think about it. I know we can do anything as long as we're together, and I can't wait to start this new chapter of our lives. I'm also beyond excited to start a family with you, and our cats, and our future dog. Yeah. Number of kids, TBD. Wow. I love you so much, Christina. I love you too. Oh, I can't kiss you. I can't kiss you. Not yet. <laughs> okay, my turn? Yes, Christina. Okay. Please share your personal statement with us. Josh, my love, my LB King. <laughs> I am thankful for our life together. We have grown from being neighbors to good friends, and, and now to our family of four with our Viking fur babies. I love the home that we created together, even though it meant taking endless trips to Home Depot, Menards, and Ace. <laughs> I am thankful for the joy that you bring into my life. You, you have a way of making our life so much fun with your random dancing and your lighthearted personality. I love that you prioritize our family safety and comfort in the most high-tech way possible. I do appreciate our ring camera and I'm sure the kitties love their automated litter box, water fountain, and food dispenser, to name a few things that are automated in our house. I am thankful to be standing here today about to marry my handsome, caring, and quirky best friend. So for the rest of our lives, I promise to always support you and your out of this world dreams, whether it's joining the Space Force one day or opening a car garage the next. I promise to continue being a better team player, especially when we're building furniture or remodeling our next home. Maybe not anymore. <laughs> I promise to not take life too seriously and enjoy this great adventure with you. I promise to listen to your ideas and not be so defensive, but that might be a little, that might take a little while, so be patient with me. I promise you a lifetime, oh I guess, of back ropes but maybe you should give me more. <laughs> and to keep teaching you random words in Kapan Kaman, like 18. <laughs> I promise to be there for the highs and the lows, for the amazing trips around the world, um, to the very sh stressful trips with our crying pets. I promise to perfect the chicken basil leaves recipe so I could one day cook it for our future children. Speaking of future children, I promise don't worry, guys. <laughs> I promise to raise <laughs> our chubby half-white, half-Filipino babies to be as caring and thoughtful like their father. I promise to love you and stay loyal to you and only you as long as we both shall live. Ish living. Da. Da. Very sweet. It gives you a little bit of insight about how these two <laughs> relate and talk to each other. And the expression in their eyes of communicating that love is just a wonderful thing, and I hope you always celebrate that every single day. Having that kind of love in their hearts for one another, you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign and seal of the promises you have made today. <laughs> the wedding ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no individual giver or receiver because each of you is a giver and each of you is a receiver. Wear these rings, whether together or even apart for a moment, let them be a constant reminder of those promises you have made to one another today. Joshua, I you to take this ring and place it upon Christina's left hand and repeat this promise to her. I offer my vow. I offer my vow. To you in the form of this ring. 
to you in the form of this ring. So that my word and my love. So that my word and my love. Will always be with you. Will always be with you. Close to your heart. Close to your heart. Can you put that in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ring, please place it upon Josh's left hand and repeat this promise to him. I offer my vow. I offer I offer my vow. To you in the form of this ring. To you in this form in this form of this ring. <laughs> so that my word and my love. So that my word and my love will always be with you. Will always be with you. Close to your heart. Close to your heart. That one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Continue to hold hands. Josh and Christina, I would always ask that you treat yourselves and each other with the utmost respect. And remind yourself often what brought you here today. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. And each of you take the responsibility for the quality of your life, it'll be marked with abundance and happiness. Now I would like to say a prayer and I invite you all to bow your heads and pray along with us. Heavenly Father, bless this couple and their home and may they continue to be the light for each other. The expression of pure love and devotion. May they be reminded of your glory and promises of this blessed union. We pray the Lord will make his face to shine upon them and be gracious unto them. And may the Lord lift upon them the light of continence upon you and give you peace, happiness, and joy. Amen. Today, Christine and Josh have honored you with inviting you here to witness their vows of love and devotion. And so this day, they declare before all of us that it is indeed their intention to be married. They would entered into this ceremony by showing affection, by holding hands. They have each made promises of love and devotion to each other. And they have sealed those promises with the giving and receiving of rings. So therefore, it is my privilege as a minister, and by the authority given to me by the state of Texas, that I now happily, happily pronounce you two, husband and wife. <laughs> and with that, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Bowers. <laughs> Oh, here we go. 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 Oh,